there's a, a problem in your relationship. So you need to fight it. You hear me? Yes. Uh, just fight it and believe God. Amen. Where is your husband? Okon. Huh? Okon, I'm sick. Yeah, pray against this thing. Because yes. it's troubling you. Yes. He told you about past relationship. And now you are falling on the same problem. Past marriages. Come on. Anyway, no matter. Huh? Leave me. I must leave. Leave me alone. Do you want her to go? I want her to leave that bastard. You want her to leave? Yes. So what, then, what, what is she doing in that family? What yeah? is she doing? Yes, and you are the one who is praying for every day. Of she should have left a long time ago. I want to kill that boy. You want to That's kill why the boy. he's not coming here. Do you see him here? That's why he's not coming here. And he will never, he will suffer. Leave you want there. to make him suffer? Leave here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Listen, since you met this brother, there is something here. You feel pain inside you. It's, huh? it's true. Enough, and the, this thing is troubling you. Yes, it's because true. Because you have prayed against this. It's true. Huh? It's true. You need to forgive that brother. You hear me? You'll be able to move forward. And that brother lied to you. Stand up. He lied to you, that brother. He lied to you. That's why he was able to penetrate to you. Come close to you. So go give you a right person. Oh, don't, don't try me. Don't bother me. You say you'll give her what? It won't happen. There's, there's one who's trying to come. They will never come together. What do you want to do? How, who are you? So you don't want her to marry a red person? Why must she get married? My children are not married, why so she must not be married. So why you, you brought this brother to attack her? Why did this brother to attack her? When she was singing in the church, she was hitting us so much, we were getting bent. Oh, now we sent the boy a brother to attack, to attack yeah. her. So she we used her. Him. Now she's staying at home, she does not pray, she does not do anything, nothing is going forward. Yeah, one, he wants to buy a ring, wants to engage. It will never happen, we have closed. So you leave her today. In Jesus' name. Okay. It's over. <laughs> Sister, the brother say he want to buy a ring. Yes. Huh? Yes. The same brother who... Another one. You are very fast, yeah? How old are you? Uh, man of God, that one... How we, old are you? I'm turning 20. Huh? 20. Are you not fast? That one, I was not dating him. And, and this then, one, I've been with him from 2016. But how recently, old were you in 2016? I was 17. Are you not fasting? Ulava <laughs> Helena. I thought we were not. Africans. I was it was Changan. I thought you speak Africa, you just say, hey, 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 no, he, hey, mono, he, hey, mono, he. Now, when you passion and now we have lost Changan, we love our English. Changans and vendors are people who have got character. When you go to church, you, you must sit down, 
you wait for a certain time. You have not reached 21. Eh? You don't need a ring now. You have not even reached 21. Well, 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 she eh? You must go back to where you were. You used to pray. You used to fast. Eh? You are no longer fasting now. Eh? Do you want to go back? I do, but at church, it's like I want to learn. About Labi? But I would love to lay in the session because we don't know no nurses. But I would love to lay in the Nunala. I'm going to give you a clinic. I saw it. I see. Huh? I saw it. Okay, forgive them. They have a reason why they are doing that. When you see people hating you, they are trying to show you a way. Are you ready? Now you start to live in the right way. Don't fight them. I am so confused. I need to confirm any queen. I will tell you what is your queen. So, yeah, now look, but you like, you like, like, like. Eh, like, like. Lo, you know how many years? You come in twenty-one. We'll cancel that girl. Give her cancel. My name is Shibikor Kotz and I'm from Green Village in Soweto. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the man of God spoke firstly about the problem that I'm having in my stomach. Uh, and it's true. I've been having this problem from last year, in the beginning of the year. And he spoke also of a ring and it's true. Like everything that he said is true. And then he later on guided me and told me that I should wait and of which I'm going to follow that and yeah. What was happening with your stomach? I've been having like stomach cramps like almost every day I would have like pains in my stomach and I would end up excreting some funny funny things. And did you try to use something to stop the pains or not? I've never tried to use anything because firstly I do not understand like what's the cause of it or where is it coming from. So I was just living in hope that one day it will just stop. And how will these pains affect you? What were the things you will not be able to do when they start? Uh, usually if like they start it would even like change my mood. So most of the time I would just love being alone. And whenever like they start like I would just like you know have to just sit down and relax until like the pain is itself. And you said he also guided you. What did he say? He told me that I should wait until I'm 21. Uh, I should like stop because the pace that I'm going it's too fast. I should just slow down and wait a bit. I should go back to the way that I used to be with my fellowship with God and everything. And your fellowship with God, did it change? It did, because I used to be a very active Christian. I used to pray, I used to fast, but now, since the whole of last year up to now, I've never fasted even a single day, and I could not even pray. And what made you to stop doing the things you were doing for God? Um, after the confession that I made, it's, that was the cause, and after that, I was not even able to go to church anymore because that whole thing affected me. So I was like just, I was very discouraged and I didn't have that zeal anymore, that desire anymore to just go on and serve because I felt condemned, I felt bad. I just did not know where to start. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, how are you feeling? Are you still feeling this, the disappointment, the discouragement, condemnation, everything? Honestly, I feel I feel very light. I feel fine, and I just feel that from now I have like a way forward. Yeah. Bring him, bring him to me. Come on. <laughs> Lift him. Where are you pastoring? Huh? From Zambia. Yes. People are attacking you. They're attacking this church to me. Yes. So that it must not support you. Yes. The church can't even do anything for you. Yes. Even to come here, you 
just try to collect money put together. Yes. Eh? Yes. But check what will happen after we, we anoint you and pray for you. Let this curse break today. You are anointed. To, you are anointed. My name is Pastor Sam. I'm Sam. I'm coming from Zambia, precisely the Copper Belt. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, the word of prophecy that I received from the man of God, he located me and told me that my ministry has not been going and then I've been receiving attacks and then also that my finances are not, that my finances are down, which I confirm to be true because this is what has been happening in my life and in my ministry. And what was the reason that made your finances to be down? Uh, I think it's just an, an attack from the enemy. Because some time back I was at least doing fine, but at the moment it's like I'm down, down in my finances. And uh, how was this affecting your life? It was affecting me, especially that I'm a family man and I'm also doing ministry. It's been affecting me badly. And were you praying that God should change this situation? Yes, it's been my prayer, especially after watching Charlie's TV. I've been desiring to come here. So I came here and it's like God fulfilled my desire and my wish. Yeah. And what are you believing God for as you are located? I believe change has come to my ministry and my financial status. Yeah. I'm anointing you so that people will recognize you. Amen. Because people where you are, they don't even understand you. Amen. And they don't even understand your calling. Amen. So this year, you will see something will happen. In Jesus' name, we are blessed. My name is Pastor Daniel Mashimze from Guyane, Bode Village. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy is in, is in regarding my ministry about how it is growing, uh, that people are not understanding my calling. But this year, there will be a change. People will understand my calling. What was happening in your ministry? Ministry is not growing. So, but from now, the word from God is saying the ministry will grow from this year. And for how long have you been in the ministry? From 2011. And the fact that it was not growing, how was it affecting you? Well, normally it demotivates you if you, your ministry is not growing, but you keep on teaching and preaching. And the fact that people were not understanding you, were you aware? Yes, I was aware of that. Yeah, because, yeah, because people, I mean, we will have crusades and revivals, but the, the, I mean, the, the, the church, the number of the people in the church will not be growing. Yeah. And now that the man of God has located and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe that there will be change. I'll, and I'll have to pray more and follow his, his guidance because he's always supporting me. He's sometimes sending his prophet, like Prophet Duja, to support me. So, yeah, I believe this year things will change. Amen. Where's your way? Yes, Is your way? Yes, Good. There's a blockage here yes. in you. Error. Huh? Yes, dear. It's like somebody tie you here in the womb here. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this thing is affecting your coming together. It's not yes. true. It's, it's true, man. Huh? It's true. Uh, sometimes you stay long together when you are not coming like a husband and a wife. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. You saw that? Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. I want to be your son. And man of God. Huh? I want to submit under you, man of God. You want to be your son. He's asking you to be his son. Why you want to, this one to be your father? I mean you, man of God. You're falling down. Stand up. Do you want him to be your father? Can you see your look when I show him this way? He can't stand. Stand up. Can 
you see that. So, you are surprised of your husband. Eh? Yes, man of God. You have never seen him falling like this? Yes, man of God. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up. You say, say it again. <laughs> so, can you see that? It must God who has have to help you to say, I want to be your son. The next time when you say that, I will make sure you fail to talk or you'll be free. Stand up. So go to him now. Speak. Tell him. I want to be your son. <laughs> so I'm also anointing you. Eh? I'm anointing you also so that you feel what I'm feeling. So come to the lady here. Look at her or the eyes here. She will receive. Say receive. Receive. Say you are my daughter. You are my daughter. In the name of what? In the name of Jesus. Go there again the, to your son. <laughs> Lift him up. Say, say you are my son. You are my son. So don't try this in your house. <laughs> it's over here. I'm just using you. I'm just using you. Okay. Come on. Ouch. Come on, you demon. What I do to her? Huh? Why are you blocking this ministry? <laughs> huh? Come on! <laughs> you demon! Huh? Why are you blocking this woman? Talk! Speak out! <laughs> Boa! Anyway, bring him also in deliverance then. In Jesus' name. You demon! You demon! Come on! You demon! Out! What I do to him? Speak out! Speak! Out! Speak out! Well, they don't know they've got demons this week, but there's a demon in there. My name is Oratila Mosare. The person next to me is my wife, Kimone Lomasa. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes, the word of prophecy we received today it was concerning my wife uh, about this lower abdomen. That there is a problem and as we meet as husband and wife, it's normally not that good. And we can take some days without meeting as husband and wife. And I confirm it to be true because we can take a week, the whole week, just living together. Not that spark or affection, though too strong, like we know it's supposed to be. So I confirm it to be true. And for how long has this been happening? Hey, you know, ever since we got married, even the. Ever, let me just say, ever since we got married, it was not that strong like we know it's supposed to be it sometimes comes sometimes it goes just like that yes and when she starts experiencing these pains how will she act I, sometimes she will just be bored and she will feel she's not into it just to have affection with me as the husband and i will just leave her and not to hurt her yes and did you try to in go perhaps to the doctor to find out what is causing this problem? No, we didn't go. In fact, we, we knew we needed deliverance. We came here uh, very aware we needed deliverance, both of us. So we didn't go for medical much because these weird dreams we normally have sometimes could tell us this is the problem. And, and, and the other day we, were, we once dreamed the same dream that shows that Apostle was talking the truth. 
I once the same night, that night I dreamt him with another man. And the same night he dreamt me with another lady. So this is to show that there was a common problem in our midst. Yes. And how would it affect you, the fact that uh, you would not get what uh, you know you can be able to get? Ash. It will trouble me a little bit and sometimes it will even attract the spirit of lust. But I've been asking God for this day to come around here. I knew we were supposed to come here. Yes. So now you are starting to experience a spirit of lust? Yes, I was starting to experience that kind of feelings of another person. Yes. And when you start to experience this, how would you feel? I, I will just feel I don't want her, I want somebody else. There was just this problem in our, in our midst. Mm, yes. And now what are you believing God for as this problem has been located today? I believe God we are free because I once came here and God prayed for alone. But when I got back, the same trouble continued. So the, I like it because Apostle, when he came, he asked me, where is your wife? And then I just, there is she, and I just said, definitely I needed to bring her along. Thank you. Mama, can you tell us your name and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Kemanailo Charity Musarwe. The person standing next to me is my husband. We are from Botswana. And can you also confirm the prophecy you received with your husband today? Yeah, the prophecy that we received today was about the, the, the pain in my lower abdomen. Man of God told me that there's like a tie in here. So I confirm it to be very true. And he mentioned that we sometimes doesn't meet as husband and wife. It's very true. We can spend some days just like that in the house. And how were these pains affecting you? It turns me off. I'll be bored. I'll be like kind of lonely. And sometimes when he feels like meeting with me, I'll just be sometimes just forcing myself into it. I'll, I'll just be tired and... I'll just be giving myself just to satisfy him. But as for me, sometimes it's a challenge. Yes. And were you aware that he was now starting to experience a spirit of lust upon his life since you were not meeting his husband and wife? I would say yes. He's, he's very open. We talk. So he will tell me. We would pray together. Sometimes we'll have these dreams of like kind of somebody's having an affair one of us or either way both of us would have such a dream so we'd sit down and talk about this things so I'm, I'm more away yes and were you praying that god should locate this challenge those problems and 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 restore your marriage and your affection very well we have been believing god for a turnaround we came here believing god for for deliverance both of us Yes, because it's something that we knew about. We have got one child now. But this thing, it was like, it, it was troubling. It was a challenge. I was like going back to the clinic and ask them. But this, at the same time, I felt like there's no solution. They won't solve this issue because we believed it's more spiritual. Yes. So we believe God has answered our prayers and we are very happy for what he has done today. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, are you still experiencing these pains? No. As I'm talking now, I'm fine. Amen. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. Stop there. Where's your church? Are you a pastor? Amen. Where's your church, my brother? In Davidson. Davidson. Many of you in David, you need counseling. You understand? Amen. Right? Because many of you, you are young people, you are starting church. And then if not, you associate ministry and money. Somebody think if he can get 100,000, he's a big man of God. Many of you, you are not even married. In debitor. You know him. You know yourself. 
free. You are free. This thing must leave you. Like I've prayed for you, God must fill you with power here. Okay? You see that? Come on. Bring in this one. Where's your church? I'm a junior pastor at Giani. We are not church. Are you a pastor? Where is your church? Madam Lele. So you are with him? No. You are alone? Yes. Eating his stomach so that they will never feed him again. They will never feed you, these people. They are dropping you. Stand up. You are trying to be anointed all the time. Amen. Pray God anoint me for these people. Amen. But these people, they feed you. Always Amen. you drink something, you are swallowing it. Amen. Eh? Amen. When it's going down, you say, oh, God. You want to bring it back, you Amen. realize that you are awake. It will never happen to you. Jesus. Already you are anointed. Where's your husband? When did he marry you? Next, last year, July. He married last year, July? Yes. And uh, so, who is the pastor who bless you? Sorry? Who is the pastor who bless you? In, in the village, in Ziras, pastor's board. Huh? So what is he saying about you coming here? Uh, He, I told him that we are coming here. He didn't say anything. Do you think he's there? Uh, no, I don't think he's. I, I don't know because I told him and he so just. So he's the one who bless you. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I not disobey him. Uh, I don't know because uh, I felt like uh, I was forcing myself. Because I always wanted to talk to him and he would just let not talk to me. Please, it's not wrong. You understand? It's not wrong. And don't judge him. Oh, yes, sir. He's the one who bless you. Yes, sir. He's the one who bless you. Not all people who believe people like me. You understand? Yes, yes. So, it needs revelation. If pastors need revelation, what about Christians? He just need revelation to find out, is it true a pastor or, or what? Are you hearing me? Yes. So don't blame that pastor. You feel like he doesn't understand prophecy. Yes, yes. that's true. It's not true. It's true. It's, it's what you're saying. Yes, sir. That this man doesn't believe in prophecy. So whoever does not believe in prophecy doesn't believe that he can speak. Prophecy is speaking of God. Yes. So whoever does not believe in prophecy does he also talk. If you say these people 
is not a man of God. You must be aware of who told you that. If it's God, it's then you can say it. But if it's not God, don't say it. So on your case, you understand? You realize that you won't grow when you are with him. It's not true. It's true. It's true. Because he doesn't believe in the prophecy. So don't blame him. Yes, sir. It needs God for, for him to reveal to him. You understand? Yes, sir. And also pray for him, love him. He bless you. Yes, sir. Because you always you dream many people in front of you. Yes, yes. Eh? yes you dream yourself ministering to them. Yes, it's eh? true. So you realize that you want to see what you are ministering and you want to hear what you are talking, isn't it? It's true. Because God has called you that line. Okay. So don't blame me. So God bless you. Touch your stomach. Touch it. God has healed you. You hear me, sir? Amen. It's a kidney. Amen. Kidney failure. Amen. You are free. Amen. My name is Jacob Danji. I'm come from North Northam Limpopo. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the men of God and also confirm it? Yeah, the prophecy that I received from the men of God is that I've got a, 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 a kidney failure. Then I'm here, but since I, as I, I sat down there, I hear that there's something moving from from the side of the of the, of the, of the kidney. It goes down to the to to to, to the bladder. Even if I, I feel I can go to the toilet to urinate. Yeah. And for how long have you been experiencing this pain? Mm, I think it's, 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 it's about a year. Yeah. It's about a year, but I, I never go to the doctor. Yeah. And when this pain would start, how would you feel? How would you react? And what were the things that you were not able to do? I think that I, I felt I, I used to, to, to feel a pain in, 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 my, in my bladder. Yeah. Then uh, so I, so when I came today, the time the, 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 the man of God gave me the prophecy that I, I, I just I also just feel that uh, that was a problem that I had because sometimes uh, that, that's something that I, I'm not fine. Oh, no, no, they don't function. Yes. Uh, they, they. And not that you, you say he prayed for you, you felt something moving from the, uh, the side of your kidney to your blood and you feel like urinating. Do you believe what, uh, the, what was troubling your kidney is about to come out? I, I strongly believe that I'm, I'm, I'm healed. I, 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 I believe very strongly that I'm healed. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Eh? Yes. Yeah, God will open doors for business. Amen. You understand? Amen. Because you've been trying to find money. Yes, it's eh? true. It's true. To start a business. Yes. It's not working. Eh? Yes, man of Don't God. Don't worry. Amen. It's about to happen now. My name is Intebi Chenyane. I'm from Pretoria. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Apostolo obletele naka business hore ke sa ba discourage cause always I'm thinking business and dilotaka adita maybila which is true. I, I always think about business and then I immediately ke batla go ira ke batla go tswala pele. I'm become discouraged. So Mm. And how was this affecting you? Hey, it was affecting me spiritually because business, like 
kabereka now but ke bona gore i'm working just because of tsonetse ke phela but uh na ke rata business like ke motho ola wa go like business in my mind each and every time ke na ganse business yeah and were you were, were did you try to start a business since you were having a mind of doing a business Yeah, I've been trying even now I'm selling a small and other things. Yeah, but my dream go gore ke 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 bana le business e call because it's not for the first time apostolo I'm prophesy ka business. Last year he told me ka re hai tu le this year and I have faith and believe gore mo kenya ka ngo ya mo teng ke tlo fitlelela. Yes. And now that the man of God located you and also prayed for you, what are you believing God for? I believe Hore S L A year of jubilee. Things the glory rahala. I have faith and believe Hore this year business ya ka itlo growa. Tseleng khale ke di dreamer ke batla hore di rahale mo bophelong baka. E di tlo irahala. Amen. I thank you. They say car that God wants to give you. You'll give us a testimony soon. Amen. Thank you Jesus. You will say you want to relieve this one. Yes, the current one, yes. You want to relieve another one. You are heavy. You say you want to relieve you want to buy a car and it's coming to you. My name is Tabo. I'm from Rhenbeck. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Man of God, man of God came to my side and prophesied that there's a car coming to my life because I need to re reveal the new, reveal the current one to so that I can have the new car. So I confirm it is true. I, I'm driving the current car now. I told my, I gave it to my wife, and I wanted to have my own car. And I, I, I told my wife to said, the car that I'm looking for, it is the one that will show, is going to shame my enemy, and it's going to be a great testimony. So I believe God that testimony will come to pass and I will testify here at Charis Missionary Church. And then what was the reason that made you to want to change your old car to a new one? So it, it is because I wanted to upgrade and and then so that in this year of jubilee so that I can celebrate in the bigger anointing. And what car we, we, are you driving and which one do you want? I'm driving the current A6. I'm looking for the Porsche. And do you believe that God is going to do that for you? Yes, since the man of God has confirmed it, I've been I, I have been hoping and praying for it. I believe it will come to pass and I'll testify about it. Amen. Something happen when you are asleep all the time. Yes. <sighs> be careful of disease of bones. On yes, on your feet here. Okay. The family disease. Where's your husband? Eh? You have got a spiritual husband that is blocking this man. You yes, me? yes, sir. She told you. Um, she didn't tell you straight. No. She need deliverance. Come on. Come on. Leave her. Out. Coming here, it's a breakthrough for you. Thank you, Lord. You hear me? Amen. It's a breakthrough for Amen. you because you, you are in stagnation. No? Amen. Everything you are trying to do is not working. Thank you, Lord. It's not true. It's true, sir. Huh? It's true. Uh, because of this spiritual mm -hmm. husband that visit this woman mm -hmm. and attack you. Thank you. Everything Lord. when you start to marry, everything was fine. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, it's true. But now sir. everything is collapsing. Mm -hmm. You are free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm Amos Mukansi. I, I live in Tabazimbi. And can you tell us the word of prophecy you received from the man of God and also confirm it? Yeah, I can confirm what the man of God said, that it is true. Um, from, the, from the church where we, we, we fellowship, The demon manifested from my wife, 
and she was delivered there. I didn't know that the spirit is still following us. But what I can confirm, we, 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 we also face some stagnation and, and, and challenges, especially finances. We try to, to, to apply for the house and stuff, but we're getting hindrance and blockage. Uh, I can confirm it to be true, yes. And the spirit that is against your, 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 you and your wife, what is it? Um, the man of God said it's a spiritual husband. A spiritual husband that is following my wife. What I can, other, what I can actually identify that this is true. She's, she's very tempered. We can like fight out of very small things. She's got, she had like a very short tempered spirit. So I think that is the cause. And how would this fight affect you? Yeah, peace in the house. Because when we fight, then there's no peace in the house. Yeah. For how long has this been happening? Uh, uh, the short temper we experienced since actually we married. We used to fight, fight. That was a long time ago. But I can see even now, over small things, but we have learned to live, I have learned to live with her because I know now when you say this is tempered, I try to control I've learned over time. But I can see that this was a cause of this spirit. And stagnation, you were stagnant in which area? Um, uh, actually, stagnation, I face it normally in finances. I can see uh, that I, I, I try to move forward. We get blocked through debt and stuff, and it was difficult most of the time to come out of these debt. Yeah. And now that the man of God has located you and also prayed for you, what do you believe God will do for you? I believe that the doors uh, uh, break, there will be breakthrough. I will see whatever man of God has said. Uh, when he said that I've been blocked because of this spirit, I believe that God has opened the door for our life, for our breakthrough as a family and also my career, finances, I believe that it, it's, it's been open. And it's been my prayer in the service that I pray that men of God should locate us today. So I believe that this was uh, a day that was assigned for us to be set free as a family. Amen.